Hi Virgo, I'm here to do your reading. I want y'all to get y'all Bibles out. If you don't have a Bible, go on the uh, Google and you know, get your Bible out. I want y'all to turn to chapter 25 in Ezekiel. Chapter 25 in Ezekiel. I'm going to read some of it. It says the word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against thy... It says, The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against the Ammons, and prophesy against them. And say unto the Ammons, Hear the word of the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, because thou saidest, Aha, against my sanctuary, when it was profane and against the land of Israel, when it was desolate and against the house of Judah. When they went into captivity, behold, therefore I will deliver thee unto men of the east for a possession, and they shall set their palaces in thee and make their dwellings in thee. They shall eat thy fruit and they shall drink thy milk. And I will make Rabbah a stable for camels and the Ammons a couching place for flocks. And ye shall know that I am Lord, for thus saith the God Lord, because thou hast clapped thine hands and stamped with the feet and rejoiced in heart. With all thy despite against the land of Israel, Behold, therefore I will stretch out mine hand upon thee, and I will deliver thee for a spoil to heathen, and I will cut thee off from the people, and I will cause thee to perish out of the countries. I will destroy thee, and thou shalt know who I am, the Lord. Um, <laughs> I was called to read that part for you, to give you that little piece. I don't know why. And here we are. <laughs> now I want to divine on that piece and how it could translate for you in this time. Um, the number 25 was there. So I find the number 25 to be uh, very significant to you at this time. Many of you could be 25 years old. Many of you could be um, could be embarking on a new journey here. Something like that. I'm also getting beginning stages. Many of you are still in beginning stages. I feel whether you are old or whether you are young, whether you are in between, I feel there's a beginning stage here. The number 25 is like an angel number. The number 25 is like an angel number. It's more so of a holy number. And I, I, I get that it holds like a lot of power. I'm also getting something about um, leadership ability here. Let's see where the moon is. Where is the moon? Let me see where the moon is real quick, Virgo, so I can pair this. Moon in Aries, Mercury in Leo. Okay, so I'm getting very grand, grandiose, something like that. So many of you could be dealing with a narcissist, something like that. I feel someone's getting off to narking you out or to being like a narc, a narc to you, a narcissist to you. They're getting off. I'm getting it's fueling their ego. I'm also getting something about um, abundance here. There could be like some type of abundance fueling a narc's ego. This could be multiplicity as well. 
So there could be multiplicity, multiplicity, excuse me, fueling a narc's ego. The goddess Athena here. So I'm getting something about strategy. I'm also getting something about like um, a battle. Like I'm getting like a fight. Many of you could be um, in a fight. Many of you could have gotten into a fight. I'm getting, there's something specific about a fight or a battle. I'm getting like a three step process in a fight or a battle. Or I'm getting something happen three times. Let's see, let's divine on this, on this piece here. <clears throat> Ezekiel 25, show me what I need to see, Spirit, for the highest good. Show me what, what resonates for the collective. Show me how this resonates for the collective. We have the sun card popping out here. So I'm getting something about um, expansion here. Many of you could be expanding your belief systems. Many of you could be going up into the Bible. I don't know, something like that. Many of you could be dealing with the Leo. Mercury is in Leo here. I'm getting the heavens. Action oriented when it comes to the heavens or, or the Holy Spirit. I feel many of you need to take action towards the Holy Spirit. Something like that. Yeah, the justice card underneath the deck. That could be the truth here. Many of you may be um, propositioned to take action towards the Holy Spirit, the Bible. I don't know if you're into that. Many of you um, could be into another belief system or have, you know, like another religion. But I feel take action towards your religion towards your your high honor yeah the ace of cups i'm getting that's for certain i'm getting get very creative when it comes to your spirituality page of swords i'm getting get more information when it comes to your spirituality or when it comes to the bible i'm getting go up into the bible if need be very discontent with a new beginning at this time. I'm getting go up into the Bible, go up into your belief system here. I'm also getting um, high honor is very discontent. Your God, whoever you believe in, they're very discontent with the fool. Or this could be a new beginning. What is this, Spirit? Yeah, the Four of Swords with the Star card. Many of you could be dealing with an air sign. I'm getting something about a betrayal here. I feel high honor is very upset with someone. Could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Could be an air sign. All around air sign here. I feel this person has betrayed you. Heavy Libra energy. I feel this person could have betrayed you in some way. And it's almost like it's to the point where it's unforgivable or... It's almost to the point it's like... If many of you are truthers, if many of you are, are for the truth or for the right, you're for the right, you're for the truth, you're standing up for you know what you believe in, I feel someone else does not. I'm also getting leeway. Someone was given leeway? This could be you or someone else. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you're dealing with. 
I'm getting they were given leeway. This person was given leeway. I'm also getting projections. Someone, um, someone projected something here when it comes to you. It may not be holy. It may be something very demonic. It may be like a demonic force, something like that. What is this? Yeah, the strength card, the three of cups. So loyalty here and well known. So someone's very well known for this, for projecting onto people, for doing things to people, for causing betrayals, for, uh, you know, uh, causing heartbreak or disappointment. You know, just... <clears throat> You know, just being like an all-around ass. Someone's famous for this. And I feel you being protected by some type of karma or projection. I'm getting someone projected something onto you. And it could be like a return to sender. Some shit like that. What is this? What is this? The unexpected exchange here. So someone wants to exchange with you after a projection, after some type of projection here. I'm getting, I'm getting this person was given leeway or I'm getting this person, they have information that they have not told you. Yeah, the two of swords. I'm getting they have some type of information here that they're withholding or they're keeping from you. Yeah, the six of swords here. But I feel like you may know what this information is or you have a knowing or an idea yeah, the queen of pentacles. Intellectual lucidity here. Yeah, so it's conversation here. The strength card, you could be dealing with a mother figure. This could be you. You could be very strong, very loyal. Many of you could be loyal to a fault. Yeah, the judgment reverse. No judgment. It's like a no judgment zone for you. With the hanged man, that's like a... <laughs> It's almost like you don't want to see anyone hemmed up, like truthfully, you don't want to see anyone hurt. Truthfully, you don't want to see anyone hemmed up by any type of situation or battle. This could be a legal battle for some of you, the justice card. It's almost like you don't really want to see anyone hemmed up in a five of swords type of energy. And you know, it's just like you don't spew hate. It's like you don't have hate to spew. It's not what you have inside of you to spew. Now, I feel if someone dishes it, <laughs> that's another story. You can work, Virgo. <laughs> yeah, the King of Swords, highly intelligent here. You're too intelligent to pass judgment on folks. You leave that up to God. You leave that up to the source. You know that the messages will be communicated through you. The Queen of Pentacles, intellectual lucidity about not judging others. You're going to be blessed for that. What is this? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. It's your perception, Virgo, with the Two of Swords and the Seven of Cups here. Mm -hmm. Confusion around direction taking. This could be because of relationship here with the lovers. There could be a, a relationship sh uh, slowing down your direction taking. Yeah, the Four of Wands. I'm also getting um, someone could be uh, manipulating your relationship or manipulating a direction or someone taking direction. This could be you or someone else with the Magician card and the Four of Wands. So I'm getting rectification or manipulation about rectifying a relationship, the Six of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting longevity here as well. Or there could be people rallying around you who are influencing your relationship or the rectification of your relationship. Yeah. So, okay. I'm getting it now. <laughs> it's almost like you can't really take this, take, take what's on this board here or anyone else's board and sum that up. To your destiny you can't you can't take can't even take what i'm saying here and sum it up to your destiny you can't do that you have to do it on your own per se 
It's very tricky with divination and I feel many people are unaware of this. When you come here, when you come on earth, you're here to have an human experience. You're here to have a very human experience. Not in the tarot, wondering, you know, if someone's coming back, what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. I feel that's not the case. That's not, that's not of higher order per se. <laughs> Having a little hard time articulating, but I feel you can understand where I'm coming from here, Virgo. Your longevity is going to insist on the work that you put into it. You can't sit here and wait for me to, to get on <laughs> and see when your person is coming back. You have to actually put in the work. You have to actually put in the forward movement or take action per se with the Ace of Wands. You have the King of Wands and then you have the Queen of Pentacles. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me here. Don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> I'm also getting take action towards conversating. If you want to have a conversation with someone, take action towards that, towards them. If you're willing to talk to someone, go do that. You have the Eight of Cups here. And then you have the Three of Pentacles. I feel many of you do this to watch to watch someone or something. I'm also getting teaching or learning. Many of you learn through this and that's okay. I also get cooperation here. So I see you closing out a cycle and submitting to a higher order. I feel you're collaborating, walking away, like someone's working towards walking away. This could be you or someone else. Clarify this. You have the Four of Pentacles. And then you have the um, Ten of Cups. I see you holding back. I feel like you're holding back here. Many of you have a lot of hope. You have a lot of hope here. I see you holding back for happiness purposes. Or I'm getting some type of corporation. Many of you are holding back from this corporation. Or this could be a family unit. Like I feel a lot of you are holding back your hope your faith you're relying strictly on the tarot and that's like that's what that's what i'm trying to like correlate this like you have a devil card see there see them in the hierophant come on the devil in the hierophant here <laughs> the universe has your back Whichever way you go, either way, the universe will have your back. Tap into your Bible. Tap into your faith. Tap into your belief system. If you're the type of person to, you know, believe on this tree or to believe um, the universe, the grass, the sun, whatever you believe in. Put it in your creator's hand. Not the tarot per se. You can't wait on me to give you the message. You have to get the message yourself. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. You have to do the work yourself. Like I'm getting many of you could be readers. Many of you could be spiritual. Many of you could have been um, into spiritual work for a very long time. I'm getting 10 years plus. And there's something toxic looming. I don't know what it is. It's something looming in the energy to the point where it almost has you bound. 
You're committed. You're very committed to this work, to tarot. I'm getting that. Strongly. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles reversed. And the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Y'all not gonna like this message here. I can see it. But shit. Some of y'all get it, yeah. The Knight of Pentacles, and then you have the Chariot. It's like... Make plans to move forward from the tarot as far as relationship goes, as far as work goes. Make an effort to take that leap of faith and rely on the universe rather than these cards for you or someone else because I feel it's it's almost like the more you're in the cards the more you're in the cards it's like the the slower spirit is able to work for you it's like it slows spirit down it slows down like the spiritual realm and your forward movement as far as your abundance goes and everything else I want to go further into this um, devil energy here. What is this devil energy? Because you have the hierophant right behind that. So yeah. Could be dealing with someone who's very toxic. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Mm -hmm. You could be dealing with someone who has a, uh, a demonic, a demonic uh, attachment. This person works with demonic forces. Queen of Cups could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Someone calls on the devil and then they try to, you know, call on the call on God, you know, call on the Lord right after. Something like that. Yeah, the Queen of Cups are verse. It's a Cancer of Pisces or a Scorpio who operates at a low level. And this could be a revelation to you. Yeah, which could also be a challenge to your relationship dynamic or something like that. Queen of Cups are verse. This woman could be pregnant. This woman could be um, at her lowest vibration. The Empress could be dealing with a Libra as well, or a water sign, or a Scorpio. So what's, what it's giving me is, it's a corporation, it's a group, it's not just one. I feel these people operating out of lower vibrational emotions and shit like that. Someone's fucked up. They could be fucked up mentally or emotionally. The tower, and like I said, this could be a revelation to you. And also a challenge. Someone works with the devil. I'm also getting someone who's done some form of black magic. This could be a binding spell or a projection. This could have been a projection to cause conflict or chaos. Yeah, and the five of cups and the five of wands. Yeah, chaos. So a death spell, something surrounding death. Someone has done something surrounding death, a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. They cause endings or delays within your happiness or your life. The 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles here. Someone was also doing something for a long time. Someone could have been working on you for a long time, 10 plus years. Or this is a family unit. Someone's been doing spell work on their family for a long time to keep you stuck, to keep you trapped, to keep you confined. And I feel someone could be waking up to this or the people around this person, they're waking up, which has this person at a low vibration. Could be mentally or emotionally. Let's go further. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. And the Knight of Wands. Highly reckless individual. I'm also getting this person is challenged. So this person could be mentally challenged. I'm also getting um suffering. So this person could suffer mentally. You know, that goes always, many, many ways. As far as the tarot goes. I'm seeing some type of suffering. This could be sexual suffering as well. Someone could, um, what is that? Someone could be like real hot down there, like they need some, something like that. You had a wheel of fortune. I feel this could be a lesson, some type of sexual lesson for this person. So someone could be very reckless sexually. Yeah, it's, it's your perception. So I'm getting, you can see this motherfucker, Virgo. You can see them with your eyes. 
I'm getting you can see them here. You can see the deception. I'm also getting you watch the deception play out. It could have been like kind of funny to you to see, you know, this shit going down and you, you know, you knew what was going on. And you knew you could lean on God. <laughs> Or the universe, <laughs> page of pentacles, ace of pentacles, when you just knew you could make that deposit into the Lord rather than into this nonsense, drama, toxic way of living or breathing. <laughs> yeah, the uh, page of wands. Expect good news here. Someone's really caught up in their anxiety or worry. Someone's worried about you. They're very worried here. I see them making investments here from afar. The emperor, it could be a father figure here. I feel it. Like this could be an emperor for some of you who's very toxic like this and they could be trying to make you an offer. I feel this person trying to stand up for a belief here. This person is using higher intelligence when it comes to you. They know that you're very guarded towards them. They know this. They know why. So I see you submitting to a higher order here when it comes to your religion or belief system. I'm also getting lessons. Many of you could be um, up into uh, astrology. Yeah, the six of swords. Many of you could be up into astrology with it. You may say, Key, you know, I'm not into the Bible at all. I don't, I don't want to touch that Bible. Mm -mm, not me. Why? For what? Many of you may say that. Yeah, the temperance card. Many of you may say that. <laughs> I feel you're very lucid when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to your spiritual work and what you believe in. You're very lucid. It's almost like, you know, shit, I'm going to believe all of it, every piece of it, and some more. Something like that here I'm getting for you. Let's see what the T is. What is the T for you, Virgo? I'm going to go into um, the Ammons again. Keep getting something about the Ammons here. I believe it's the Ammonites. I want to go into the Ammonites for you. There's something very significant about the Ammonites that Spirit wants me to uh, touch on for you, Virgo, specifically. I'm hearing this is specifically for you. a player you're dealing with someone who plays games they're into games i'm also getting yeah corporation this person uh they're controlled it's a contract there's something contractual with this person this person could have an entity attachment there's something very dark there looming yeah photo proof getting evidence like i said i think i mentioned this many of you may have seen this many of you may have had evidence I'm getting you had a close look as far as the toxic energy goes. It could go, however, for all of you, it could go many different ways for all of you. It could be an emperor. It could be someone you work with. There's toxicity looming as far as your forward movement goes and your hope, your high honor, whoever you believe to be God. Let's go further. Mm -hmm. Happiness hater. Look at there. It's a demon. It's a wicked motherfucker. Look how she looking. She like, mm -mm. they in love. Why can't it be me? Look, she in a dress too. She in her dress. So she probably want to be married or she wants your man. She want to marry your man. Lord. She want to marry your fucking man. <laughs> This could be a mother figure. A mother figure will marry your man. A grandmother, a sister, a cousin, <laughs> a brother. <laughs> oh, groupie. Look at here. It's about groupified. It's like group sex. It's like incest. Something like that. There's something really weird I'm going to say here. It's like a game to these people. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Could be a family dynamic or a group 
I'm also getting person, a specific person or a groupie. It's the type of person that wants to like sit in your passenger seat and you know, like tell their friends like, oh look, look who I got me, look who I'm with. I'm with this celebrity, I'm with this person. Let me take a photo, look. Let's get a photo in. I'm with this celebrity. Let me tell everybody who I'm with. It's like that type of energy. Fuck. Yeah, child services. Something to do with children here. So this person could be well known for not taking care of their children and acting cold. This person could be very mean to children as well or to your children. This person wants to be well known and they may not even take care of their, ch their children. It's like you want to be popular, but you don't even take care of your fucking kids. What about that life? People be trying to live through their kids and shit and then be cold. Huh? See, this, the type of, this type of energy I don't even understand. Because it's not a part of my belief system, you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So someone's acting very unfazed here. But they're into you. Someone knows that this isn't a part of your belief system. Especially surrounding children. So there could be some type of neglect surrounding the children. Because someone wants to be a fucking rupee. So because you want to be a groupie, the kids have to suffer? No, ma'am. Someone's into you, but they're acting like they're not. I'm also getting your unfazed by this person being into you. It's almost like you don't even care at this point. Because there's something looming. You see what's looming underneath the surface. Let's see, I don't want to fit, forget to go into the uh, Ammonites. The Ammons, the Amun, <laughs> fertility. Mm -hmm. Something about pregnancy here, or very fertile energy. This could also speak of um, the menstrual, menstrual cycles. For you masculines, I'm getting uh, very fertile as far as sperm goes as well. So many of you could be reserving sperm, something like that. Your remembrance ancestors. Mm -hmm. Something's dead. Girl. Girl, you know they said you got cobwebs and all kinds of shit. Because you just, you know, you, you up into that higher order. You ain't for this bullshit. You ain't for this toxic life. Uh-huh. I'm also getting someone wants to meet with you. There's something about old memories. Like this person is thinking of old memories with you. Yeah. <clears throat> Tarot cards and guidance. Mm hmm You have boundaries underneath the deck. Yeah, so you're setting firm boundaries. When it comes to sex, something like that. Your sexual energy. Mm hmm I see you healing. Many of you could uh, identify your sex as to be uh, very healing to someone or you just know that your sexual energy is very healing to the collective or whoever you're dealing with yeah I see you placing boundaries because of that knowing and what you're being guided to do mm -hmm. I'm also getting, um, you're very fertile when it comes to guidance, when it comes to uh, tarot cards, when it comes to divination, you're very fertile. So I'm getting something about like setting boundaries with your divination or what you're divining on, something like that here. I'm also getting something about an order. Yes, yeah, self, memories and identity. I'm also getting something about um, painting. So there could be like um, something surrounding painting or a picture being painted that's not so true. Yeah, eternal, past life, infinity. 
you could be picking up on energies that are not current, that are not, you know, necessary for this. You could be picking up on energies here that are not current, that are not necessary, or that you, you know, you just don't need to invest in at this time. Yeah, alterian, organized and intimidating. Yeah. So I'm getting yeah, an order. <laughs> I'm getting something about an order here. Or a way of living. I'm also getting controlled. Flower of life, inspiration, awe, and dreams. Someone's trying to control you. Someone's thinking a lot about you. Someone's thinking of like how to control you. The devil card. Someone's toxic and obsessed. I'm getting this person is thinking of ways to control you rather than giving you, giving you your flowers. Rather than setting boundaries, they're thinking of ways only to control you. And if you're a light worker, you know that's something that we, <laughs> we stay away from, control. Or anything deemed as, you know, like demonic. We try to set a boundary to that Virgo. Many people could deem tarot as demonic. Or just the way you go with it. I'm getting remember to be organized. Remember to use your head. Remember to use your mind. Remember to stay connected to the source is what I'm getting. I'm getting a source of happiness or source of love. Remember to stay connected to that source of love or happiness. Because I'm getting like a lot of bitter energy. I see a lot of you may have been hurt. Like, you know, a lot of memories of the past may have, you know, like stunned you or stunted your growth. You could feel that they have stunted your growth. So I see you protecting yourself by all means. But there's, there's something about hope or happiness. You have to stay connected to your, your belief system, your source. In order to remain happy. Let me see. What is this? Yeah, achieve Capricorn energy. I see you putting endings to something for some type of achievement, mystery, eighth house. 46 is here. Capricorn energy, so I'm getting work. Bro, it's your job. It's your job to spew happiness. It's your job to spew hope amongst the people amongst the collective let's see um i want to go into the ammons amons <laughs> there's some type of significant uh meaning to this uh amun or ammonites something about the ammonites here many of you could go up into it i'm not sure you know, so this is a picture of the, so this is a picture of the, the Amuns. I'm, I'm also getting something about Ammonoids. There's many different names for them, but they identify as a hermit shell. There you go. Google it for yourself. I'm gonna put the name in the description box. I feel they have a very uh, specific meaning to you. I'm also getting something about seashells or the ocean. I feel many of you are uh, very attracted to water signs for a very specific reason here. Many of you are involved with water signs for a very specific reason. So these are the ammonoids. They're called ammonoids and ammonites and amuns. So they they resemble like shells, like seashells. 
I feel this piece in the Bible has a very specific meaning to you to identify who you are, to identify your job, your duty, duty, your placement when it comes to divinity and spirituality. These are the Amun's Ammonoids. There's something about their beauty here. These are also the family of the octopus and squid and cuttlefish. Their family here. I'm getting these fossils here are some of the longest living, the earliest discovered fossils in the world. I feel this could be very significant to you so you can identify your placement and your stance and your position in this world. They don't call you an old soul for nothing. Okay? Something about the Jordan River. Something about four, 416? <clears throat> So something about 416 million years ago. There's something about a vanishing of these species. These species have vanished. And I feel come back in a different form or I feel presenting themselves in a different form. Something about the Hebrew, uh, the Hebrew tribe here. Something about the ancient Hebrew belief system here. Something about its tentacles. So I'm getting uh, feelings. I feel this could uh, be why you're able to feel so intensely. The word Amun in Ammonites means to be a teacher or a builder, Virgo. You're being called. Many of you are chosen. Many of you are not. There's something about war here. There's a fight. <laughs> There's a battle with this energy here. There's definitely a battle. There's definitely a battle here with this energy. We're still still fighting a battle here. There's something about great people. You may wonder why you're so hated. There's something about your greatness that the spirit speaks of or that the spirit presents in your favor. So the Ammon's job, the Amun's job, the Ammonite's job is to signify those who falsify the truth of the word in the church. The inner meaning of a prophet. I'm going to leave it here for you, Virgo. I want you to do your research on the Amun's and the Ammonite's. 
All right, Virgo, I'm out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box where y'all can book that personal reading. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, I am Keon. Also, if you would like to purchase some of these beautiful luxury roses, check my description box. I'm going to leave the links down below and you get $25 off of your purchase. All right, Virgo, I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care.